What is Anton? It's the most amazing app for primary school. A complete all-in-one curriculum for all subjects from kindergarten to grade 8. Your children can learn English, German, Spanish, Portuguese, French and or Italian as a first or even a second language. They can also learn to consolidate their knowledge in reading and writing, math, social studies, music and more. Now the best part is that it's for free and with no ads of products whatsoever. No subscription needed. <laughs> I know it sounds too good to be true, but I assure you it is a five star program worth looking into. That's why I'm telling you about it because the quality is excellent and it can be a valuable language resource for you and your multilingual children. Before I show you how it works, let me tell you who created this amazing thing. Behind this is a young startup called Solocode and this educational project is funded by the European Union. The great news for international families is that you can use it wherever you are in the world. If you homeschool your children, it's a real treasure. And if you want to introduce a new language to your children that you don't master, this is the way to go. It is easy to install into smartphones, tablets or computers. The project is constantly growing, so there are good chances that more languages and subjects will be added in the future. So how does it work? You go to Anton app, for example, on your computer, on your phone, wherever you want. And then let's say you want to open an account. <clears throat> so you create a new account. You put the name of your child. Let's say your child is called <clears throat> Mary. And so you continue. You can use a monster or a human. And then... Uh, you can also say in which grade your child is. For example, if this was for my daughter, I would say, okay, I want her to um, practice reading and writing and, and that's why I'm going to do this. Which subject would you like to begin with? And then I'll say, for example, okay, I've got this, this languages for now uh, to choose from. If your main language in which you are opening the program with is English, then you can use this ones um, to learn as a second language. But you can also change the settings so that you have another language as the main language. So for example, I would say, okay, I want to learn, I don't know, uh, maths. And then um, I could just continue and I could start right away. And don't forget to save the code so that you can get back in with that account. So now you've got this. There's your name and these are the subjects. Here you can see all the subjects that you have if you use English as the main language. In my case, for example, I, I use the German version. I go for instance and say, okay, I want the settings. And here in the settings, if you go down, you can see language version. And in my case, for example, I don't want my child to learn the subjects in English. I would like her to learn the subjects in German. So here, Anton can be used in several languages with, which currently include German, American, and British, English, French, Danish, and Brazilian Portuguese. When you change the language version, the app will then appear in the language and offer different subjects and exercises. So if you have the German version, you are going to have another curriculum other subjects than if you choose the English UK because it depends on how they teach in those countries. So I choose German because um, that's what I would like to practice right now with my daughter, for example, and I go in here. And when you go back, now everything is in German. Now the cool thing about this is that everything that they do here is exactly what we also cover in school. It's the same curriculum. So it's not that they are learning in a different way here and in school it's been taught in a different way. It's really exactly how we also teach in school. So it's amazing for multilingual families because no matter where you are in the world, you can choose what <clears throat> curriculum your child is following if you have any of these languages that I said before. And then they can start uh, practicing also at home. Wie viel fehlt bis zur 10? Then you have an exercise. How much 
So I would say, okay, I have I, I need two, and then it continues. And then I say, okay, then it's zero, and then it's eight, and so on. And as you see, it's very simple. You don't have anything around it that could distract your child. There is no lights, no 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 movement, no 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 nothing that distracts them. So this kind of exercise is amazing because they foster their concentration, and that's why this app is um is is very good when the child finishes then uh, it gets stars depending on how well the child did and so i want to show you something else now let's say your child is starting to read and here you can say the grade which which grade is your kid in okay first grade you can start learning the letters in german or and then the the special things about the german language it's exactly built up the same way that I, for example, teach at school. And then they start reading. So even if you're not a teacher and you, for example, want your child to learn French or learn uh, German or learn Spanish next to it, I highly recommend that you look into this app because just by following these steps, you will easily get your kids um, reading and writing uh, wherever you are in the world. So, yes, that is really amazing. Auf dem Bauernhof. Lies und klicke an. Lies und klicke an. Wo siehst du das Fohlen? And then you have to click. Wo siehst du das Pferd? So, but by now they expect that the child is able to read this um, uh, sentence. Wo siehst du das Lämmchen? Wo siehst du das Schaf? And so on. So it's nicely built up pedagogically and didactically very, very well done. So as you see, you can click here whatever other, other subject that you want. You can also use German as a second language, for example, if the child is just starting to, to learn German. Or you can choose French or or any other language. But be aware that if you're in the main language, the main language is German, then the languages that are here are being taught as a second language. So it's like an introduction to the next language. But if you are, are fluent and it's the main language, then you have to change it in the settings. For those of you that don't know me yet, I'm a teacher and help parents raise their children in two, three, four, five, or even six languages with success. If you are new here, consider subscribing to this channel and to my newsletter for more ideas and support. Check out the description below. Einstellungen. Let me see. Deutsch. You can also change it. And let's, let's see if I would press Spanish. And I would cerrar, and everything is in Spanish. And then you say first grade. And so here, my daughter would be learning how to read and write in Spanish. See? Um, and here they also have very cool stuff about, you know, plants and animals and our body. <clears throat> Encuentra los siguientes objetos en la habitación. El estante. El estante está hecho de madera. El periódico. El periódico está hecho de papel. Apple. Banana. Orange. Lemon. Lemon, orange, banana, apple, magnifico. Ya sabes cómo se hace. And you can you can <clears throat> here create groups if you upgrade to um, Anton Plus, for example. You, you can make it like a family account and you have other advantages. There are some games for the kids. They can play if they earn some coins when they practice. And the games are also very nicely done. They don't have any advertisement. Yeah, there's another thing that's called um, study list. If you upgrade, you can also 
to, uh, put in here what you want your children to learn, what exercises you would like them to do if you're a teacher, for example. So, so yeah, I highly recommend to use it. It's an amazing project. Kids uh, love it. And it is a wonderful support for your families, for your multilingual families that have more than one language that you are teaching your child. Thank you for watching. Here are some other videos you might find interesting. Keep on doing a great job and talk to you soon.